Good afternoon. So I am back with you for the second time today. This morning I did a super quick video right before I met with one of my amazing clients. She had a VIP day with me, which is a four hour intensive where we literally roll up our sleeves. I have a whiteboard because of course this is via Zoom. I've got a whiteboard where we are crafting the agenda for the day and working through each of those pieces on the agenda. So I want to just share with you, of course, what's what happens in a VIP day stays in a VIP day, but there are some fantastic outcomes that I can share with you. And this morning, I did a really quick video for all of my dreamers out there, for those of you who have a calling on your heart, for those of you who've got a vision for your life, for those of you who wanna start a passion project or an entrepreneurial journey, um, for those of you who wanna ascend in your careers in advance. I created a video this morning talking about your dreams and how so often what we do as dreamers is we have this beautiful dream, we love it, we're also terrified of it. And so we take those pieces of the dream and we hand it over to someone else. And we say to them, will you please put this puzzle together for me? Will you please give me the permission to have this dream? Will you please give me your filtered sense of what this dream should look like? And then that person is happy to tinker away, right? With what you should do or what you could do or if they were you, what they might suggest. And then they give you back your puzzle pieces and their arrangement and you look at it and you're like, that's not my dream. Maybe my dream isn't possible. Maybe I don't have their permission or maybe I don't have what it takes or maybe it's too hard. And then what happens is that we stall. And then what happens is that we feel suffering, right? We feel that push-pull of discontent, that sense of, I know I have more, I know I've been called to do something, and yet I don't have the confidence to actually execute on it. And my friend, that's called suffering. Uh, that might be a strong term, but when you really laser in on how you're feeling about your dream, if you're not executing, if you're feeling sad, overwhelmed, anxious, numb, that's suffering. My sweet, sweet love, that's suffering. So I shared in this morning's video that you don't have to suffer, right? You can claim and own your dreams. You can claim and own your gifts. You can claim and own your brilliance. And so after this amazing VIP day with a client who is building a business, she's building a vision, she is claiming it, she's owning it, she's doing the inner work that is required to be the CEO, the chief operating executive of her business, she's doing it. And, and I wanna share a couple of outcomes with you um, around you know just, just the focal point of today. One of those highlights that I wanna share with you is that if you are a dreamer, and you have a business that you want to create or even an interest in like taking a passion that you have and, and structuring it in a way where you can share it more effectively with the world, this is what often happens. You may not be at this point in your, your development what's considered like an entrepreneur, right? Um, an entrepreneur in sort of a general sense is a person who um, their passion is business, owning, building, acquiring, um, breathing life into businesses. Let's say that that is like a, a, a technical entrepreneur, right? Most people who have dreams and then launch a business are actually what's called a technician who is in business for themselves. So I wanna, I wanna share with you a very, very, very powerful book, business book, um, that my coach passed on to me and that I pass on to my clients. I literally gift this to them. 
it is that important and it is that profound and it is that impactful. So I wanna share with you a framework or an idea that is that is taught here in Michael Gerber's book. Michael, Ber Michael Gerber is literally like, when I, when I do some of my energetic work and I am focusing on my business building, I will call Michael Gerber's energy into my sphere of influence. That is how integral he is and his teaching is to my business. Okay, but here's the point. This is what Michael Gerber says. This is what is true for me, and this is what I see over and over and over and over again for my clients. So we are technicians. Most of you who play a role in, in the structure of, of like a career, like you go to a, a job and you are a technician of a specific kind. So my background, I have the tec technical uh, acumen of teaching, and a whole host of other things. But my, my point is, is that I was a teacher. I was a teacher, I worked in a nonprofit, I ran um, the programming of the nonprofit, and so my technical skills were teaching, nonprofit management, um, managing teachers, building curriculum, these are technical things. And what I did as a technician, which is what many people do, is I had a vision to do more. I had a vision to start a business focused on high achieving black women, living their brilliance, overcoming their confidence gap. None of that was as clear five years ago as it is now, but I knew I had a calling. And I had stepped into that calling now eight years ago, three years prior to starting a business where I was doing a, like a hobby, a passion project. <clears throat> and it was called Inspire. It was called Inspire Sunday Brunch at the time. If you know me personally, hopefully you were able to attend one of the events that were the beginning of Inspire Brand Consulting. Anyway, five years ago now, I found myself in a situation where I was furious with the way that my career had landed. That's a whole nother story. But I knew in the depths of my soul that I had outgrown where I was. And so this is what Michael Gerber says, many entrepreneurs, which are really business owners, this is what happens to us, this is what happened to me. Over a Christmas holiday, I was driving with my husband and I, we were pulling up to my parents' house. We were getting ready to go on a road trip. And I was, when I say furious, like the disappointment, the fury, the knowledge that I was being um, exploited, basically, that I... Um, was uh you know basically like at a, in a dead end position uh, although it was very meaningful and impactful and it was what i had worked for but i if you know what i'm talking about if you experience that then then you know what i was feeling and um i turned to my husband and we were in the car pulling up to my parents house and i literally turned to him and i said i am not explicitive going back i'm not going back and that following, this was over Christmas break, that following maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever it was, I went in and I resigned. Michael Gerber says that that is called an entrepreneurial seizure. Okay, that is an entrepreneurial seizure. I literally had an entrepreneurial seizure. I like cut the cords to my career and I was going to start this business. So many of us do this. If you're an attorney, if you're a baker, if you're a teacher, doctor, if you are an architect and you are fed up with where you are and you know that it's the number two, you could be the number one and you come in and you quit your job and you just kind of like lay it all on the line and you say you're going to hang your own shingle, this is what has happened to you. You have had an entrepreneurial seizure. So then what happens? You have left your job and now you have started this business, right? And yet, all that you really know how to do at this point and all the experience that you have is as a technician. It is not as a business owner, business creator, and business 
operator. You don't know anything about business. What you know is how to be probably an excellent technician. And if you were like me, I was actually at the start of a new venture. So not only did I not know how to run, operate, or create a business, but I was also venturing into coaching. So while, uh, while I will say I have the proclivity of a coach, I have been called to do this work. It is part of who I already was. I didn't have the training. So I was starting like literally from the beginning. Okay. So I was honing my technical skills in this new way and I was starting a business. So it was like doubly slap slap all over the place. But many of you are going to be starting businesses with the technical skills that you have as what you are already doing, i.e. you're starting a law practice, i.e. you're starting a bakery, you are starting a, uh, you know, you're starting a medical practice. And then what we do is we take that technician piece and we create jobs for ourselves. Jobs that don't know how to bring in clients, jobs that don't know how to have business operations, business systems. We don't know how to um, bill people. We've never sold anything before. We've never created programs. We never created packages. We've never had to really say, buy my expertise for this X amount of thousands of dollars for me to solve your problems. We have not done that part of what's called owning a business. What we know how to do and what we can execute on is being a technician, let alone that we don't know how to manage a business. We don't know how to manage our time. We don't know how to manage our money. So what we have created is a really crappy job for ourselves that is aligned with our passion and then we're wondering, why? Why are we suffering so? Why is our confidence depleting? When apparently we're in the right place, we're getting great feedback, our clients love us, the ones that we have, but why is this not really breathing life as a business? Why is this so scary? Why is this so damn hard? It's because you don't know how to run a business. And my client today, actually even has an MBA. What? And she, right, of course, because when you're getting an MBA, they don't teach you how to be and how to have and how to create a business as an entrepreneur. It's case studies about how to get venture capitalists and how to, um, I don't know, because I don't have an MBA, but what I have is a 101 PhD doctorate, all that kind of good stuff in entrepreneurship. So what I taught my client to do today was how to have how to create and how to implement and employ a sales conversation, a high service sales conversation. I shared with her how to create a sales funnel. These are business systems and functions that have nothing to do with our technical skills. You see what I'm saying? So you've got, if you want to learn how to build a business around your technical talents, you also must learn how to run, create, and operate a business. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a coach who can help teach you how to create, run, and operate a business so that you can do your technical work and you can fulfill your passion. You can make an impact with your talents so that you can breathe confidently and you can do what your heart desires so that when you close your eyes at the end of the night, you don't have to be burdened with the fear and the feeling that you are not aligned with your calling. Now I'm gonna to speak to you on a very soul level. 
For many of you who know that you have a calling around something that you are intended to do, this is a spiritual quest for you. I knew five years ago when I invested in my coach that if Inspire, if it, it, even if it didn't work, right? If, if I didn't give it my 100%, I mean like give it my all, if I didn't do everything that I could to take my fears to the mat and try to make it work, that it was going to be the end, not of my life, right? But it was going to be the end of my perception of what I knew I was capable of doing. It was going to be such a blow to my wholeness, to my self-efficacy, to my self-evolution, to my, my connection to God. I knew that if I didn't figure this out, it was going to be a really hard, hard put myself back together if I, if I didn't make it work. And many of you who have a dream placed in your heart feel the same way. You feel like if I don't execute this thing, if I don't figure out how to get this baby out of me, it's, it's literally going to consume and overwhelm me. It's going to put me in the bed with the sheets and blankets over, over me and I will not be able to get out of this very easily. And so I want to throw you like a major soul lifeline and let you know that, first of all, your dreams are real. They are commercials from God. They are God knocking at your door, ringing your phone, sending the helicopter as you feel like you're drowning to say, get on board, get in the vision, be in it. This is for you. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing I wanna say in summarizing all of this is that most likely you are a technician that is aligned with that dream. And that's powerful, right? It, you've gotta be able to do the technical parts of what you offer and you've gotta be able to do them with excellence and do them well. The third piece is you most likely, even if you have an, an MBA, you most likely don't know how to create, own, or operate a business. Get yourself a coach. I am happy to give you a complimentary call to talk about where you are, where you're stuck, what your vision is. Reach out to me, please. But reach out to someone. Reach out to someone that you're going to invest in your business, invest in yourself, and learn how to do the doing of entrepreneurship. Learn how to do the doing of business management. You've got to learn these pieces. You've got to learn how to have a high service sales conversation. You've got to learn how to create programs. You've got to learn how to create a sales funnel. You've got to learn what your target audience is and how to speak to them and how to speak to their language, how to speak to their heart and their mind. You've got to learn how to do these things. If you want a business and you don't want a job or you don't want a hobby, I don't, I'm not hating on a job and I'm not hating on a hobby, but I'm saying that if you want a business, you need to figure these pieces out. And they don't come by just like reading a book. The books are helpful. I mean, look, I, I'm holding it up again. I'm speaking to you from a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally sharing with you essence of Michael Gerber's book. But what I'm also telling you is that you can read to your blue in the face. And until you implement that knowledge and, and the understanding that are in these tomes, that are in these volumes, and you put them into yourself, you're going to die with that information. It's not going to be it's not going to be effective or efficient or helpful. And what a coach will do is will help you break down all of that information, all of this information I have read, I have mastered, I own it. I'm an expert in teaching individuals how to do this for themselves. And so a coach will help you not only understand how to implement these very important pieces to your business, 
will teach you how to create a business, teach you how to you know, function in a business, but they will also help you, and this is what I do with my clients day in and day out, whether they're business owners or whether they're career advancers, is I help them get into what is the mindset that is preventing them from moving forward. Okay, because there's business aspects that are, you know, nuts and bolts to what you've got to be able to do. And then there is the mentality, there's the mindset, there's the beingness of entrepreneurship, beingness of career advancement. And if you are stuck in imposterism, perfectionism, distractionism, and you're not able to get from A to B because emotionally you feel like it's too scary, it's too far out of your league, you're not enough, you're too distracted, there's too many other things going on, you're not perfect enough, then you need to really seriously get somebody to help you with your mindset. So that is my my inspiration, my motivation, my my heart connected, heart passion conversation with you uh, in, in, in rounding out today's conversation of dreamers. And uh, I know you can do it. I know you can do it because I've done it. And I, I have done it from the vantage point of, like I said, a technician who had that entrepreneurial seizure five years ago, who came into that office and was like, let me tell you something. I am taking these cookies and I'm walking out this door. You know, don't let that, that door is not gonna hit me. You know, we're, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I left and I left and really didn't know, had to learn how to build a business. And I've done it successfully because I invested in the learning. And you can do it if you invest in the learning. Save yourself tears, save yourself years of struggle and confusion and depleted energy and a gap in your confidence. Save, save yourself the time by investing today in getting the support that you need to take your dreams from sometimes ignoring them to feeling them but avoiding them, to kind of listening but not really sure what to do with them, to actually stepping in and living them. I know you can do it. I see it done every day and I've done it myself. So peace and blessings to you, love and light to you. Stay motivated, stay inspired, and reach out um, if you need help. I'm here to help you. And there are a whole universe of coaches that are here to support you. So get yourself a coach, get yourself the support, and you know, love and light to you. All the best. Bye for now.